And so this series is over. This was intended as something temporary, a two-month project by somebody who had given up politics. And instead it became 187 commentaries and around 225,000 words and something approaching 400 million views. And I am proud of it, and I repudiate none of it, and it has been my privilege to do it, and I'm especially proud to have done these videos for free and for charity. But frankly, I have not enjoyed one minute of it. As I'm certain it has also been for you, for me, it has been unadulterated pain and revulsion and horror. The process has become nearly 24-7, and I've said so much that I can and have recycled old commentaries from months ago, and they have been fully applicable to breaking news. We've come full circle to such a complete degree that on Sunday, Trump tweeted a complaint about, quote, Russia, Russia, Russia. The title of the 46th episode of The Resistance from last March 14th was, quote, Russia, Russia, Russia. I've made my point. So now that I think the outcomes, the seven different inevitable outcomes, are unavoidable, I'd like to go back and enjoy some of my life again, and I'm going to. No illness, no scandal, no firing, just I've said what I've had to say. It was as obvious as I made it seem. I give my work everything I can, so it's not like I can dial it back. And I think even this dim-witted world of American political TV reporting, which is still calculating how to get Trump's idiot supporters to watch their networks and still waiting for Trump to pivot, even it can carry this the rest of the way. So I am retiring from political commentary in all media venues. This is not to say a bed of roses and reconciliation awaits us. The post-Trump America will be relieved of his prodigious evil, but in its place it will have Trump as living martyr. That prodigious evil and rank hypocrisy and immorality of his supporters, perhaps a third of us, will not vanish with him, and I'm not sure that the democracy has not been damaged too much to deal with their lawless, unprincipled rebellion, and I do not see this country's politics truly healing in the next 30 or 40 years, but at least the bleeding will be staunched. And we will have a chance to alter a phrase I heard somewhere to make America, America again. Thank you for all the kind words and all the support. Have fun storming the castle. My work here is done. Matter of fact, so is Trump's. Resist. Remove. Peace. <laughs>